Yes, guys, I hope you're doing good. I don't think I need to say just how important it is that your website looks good, right? It helps build trust with the people visiting your site. It helps with conversions. It just generally contributes to your success of your website. This component library kind of builds on top of a lot of Shad Cien, but implements really beautiful animations as well. So let's dive right in. We've got a couple on the showcase right here. You can see we've got a really nice pop-up text component. If we refresh this, you can see that it's fading in like so. You know, we've got a nice little fade. We've got images that appear on faded. We've got an infinite scroll, little hover, mouse icon. This one's actually one of my favorites, I think, this text scramble effect. It's really cool for whatever reason. That just uh, scratches a little part of my brain. I really like that. In order to get this going, we can literally come in here find that component that I liked, the text scramble one. Installation, you can use just straight via the CLI to install your code, or you can install it manually. In this case, I'll just copy and paste this code into my project. I'll call this text scramble. I'm gonna paste in the code. I'll come to this about page that I'm working on, and I'll import it from here. Cool, so we've updated the import. Then if we come to our project here, we can see that we've now got this text scramble. If I refresh the page, then it has this really cool animation. And it's literally that easy to get started and install a component. So if we come back, we can have another look around. We've got accordions like so, kind of extending that basic Shad Cien one. We've got an animated background like so here. This is really nice, really clean animations, right? We've got this card. This is really nice, following the cursor. It's really difficult to do this kind of implementation yourself. We've got a nice animated border. We've got sliding numbers like so, you know, kind of like clock effect. I mean, this one's really cool, right? It's a really nice little like cache animation. Super nice stuff. We've got a dot component. It just looks so good right off the bat. You know, custom cursors, infinite slider. Let's try and use one of these infinite sliders, maybe. I'm not sure of how to install it via the CLI this time. So gonna come through here, literally just gonna copy this code, gonna paste that in. So it's actually put it inside this other components of the root directory. That's fine, you can literally just move it over here. Components, that should be UI instead. Um, and now we should have this here. I'm just gonna put this in the center of the screen for the infinite slider. And as you can see now, we've got this infinite sliding, in this case, album cover effect. And then if we hover over, it's got a little slowdown of the animation. Just super nice, super clean. It's kind of fiddly to do this kind of thing yourself. And it's just really nice that it comes just straight out of the, straight out of the box, right? You can implement stuff like this in your project super easily, you know? They've got a whole load of really, really cool animated components straight out the gate to help your project look amazing. That's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase and demo. I hope it's a little bit helpful and I'll see you in the next one.